we used to hate that lifestyle of being in a city or in a house and not managing to have the freedom. This way we can be everywhere. Hey y'all, today I'm here with Pablo and Anna and they're gonna give us a tour of their custom built uh, camper van and uh, we'll share some information what they would do differently. Let's have a look. So this is our Mercedes Sprinter. We bought it in 2022. Um, it's the last model. It's six meters, 90 centimeters, so almost seven meters long. It's a, how do you say, rear traction? It's not for rear wheel drive. Yeah. Outside we have the access to fill up our water here. We have, well, it's not mounted at the moment, but this is a, a rack, rack, a bicycle rack. And if we open it, we see one of the main things that we wanted to have was a, a big garage. Because we, we, we skate, we do snowboarding, we surf. So we wanted to have plenty of space. The garage is the same length as the bed. So the bed is approximately 180 and 150. We have like this outside shower, uh, shower yeah. so it's just easier like when we go surfing or just like to take sand from the, our feet. Inside here is the water heater. It's like a five liter boiler. And no, eight in, liters or boiler. Eight liters, I don't know how much. Yeah. Um, heats the water and in like five minutes you have warm yeah. water enough for a couple of showers. Yeah, you have like two, two different like temperatures. You can go like in the middle or super hot. Like the hot is really, really, really hot. So for him, normally he goes like a little down and I just go like, because I love like hot water. And it lasts like for a woman that has like long hair. It like, when I finish like, like washing up, I already have like cold water because it's just eight liters. As well here we have the water, the water pump. tank. Ah, and that. here we have the water tank. We have this like measurement. It goes like with like the controller panel as well, but it doesn't work like really really good because I think it's a little bit twisted. So we just like go. We by, trust like, that and yeah. that's it. We trust the old school way, just like checking. So how many liters do you have fresh water? Is a hundred and twenty. And we really want to go like bigger and have a little bit more. But when we don't have like this much, we still have like the uh, bottle, a uh, 20 liters bottle. So we always can get water. Here's a really huge like storage where we store like the helmets for the, for the snowboardings and as well like some stuff like uh, gear for the skateboarding yeah. and volleyball to go to the beach and whatever. And in the front too, because you cannot see right now, but there are two more there. And in that one, we have all the electronic and it has uh, our battery. It's a yeah. lithium battery. 150 amps. 150 amps. And all the chargers and everything is there yeah. as well. We've, uh, we have our booster there, which mm. is uh, 70 amps, I think yeah. it charges. Um, and power, inverter, so yes. power, power inverter of a thousand watts. We, not, we want to yeah. go big as well because this is something because our friend, like a guy we know, um, he did this for us. And at the moment we didn't know like how, how it works, like everything you need. Like when you, you're not inside a van, you don't have an idea. Like I just understand, I don't know anything about electri uh, electrics and everything. So right now living in Avan, I know really like how much we use, how much you need. And I know like a thousand inverter, like uh, it's not enough, like watts. So we're, we really, for me, it would be like easier like to go to in between 3,000 and 5,000, to be fair. People, some people say like it can be crazy, it's too much, but I think it's just better to go big than stay low. On the roof, we have two solar panels of two th 200 watts each. So we have yeah. 400 in total. How long have you been living? Since Christmas. We have been already in the extremest weather that we can be. I mean, we've yeah. been living in the van 
in minus, minus 17 almost. degrees and we thought if we've made it through this weather we will be fine <laughs> in any conditions of course we had like issues and it's going to be fixed and this is something like we learned on the way that like van life is mm -hmm. Every day is a new adventure and something is going to always happen. So you just need to see how to, how to fix it and how to go through the problem. So you just like have to have this mind and don't tell everything to your mom because she's going to get like crazy and she's going to say, oh, please just come back home. But yes, like it's still like loads to be fixed and to be changed, but it works fine. and. Yeah. It's and what nice. was the reason that water didn't work? The water it, got frozen. Yeah. yeah, water tank, yeah. The grey water, Everything which is underneath froze. outside, got frozen. <laughs> oh, because heater and, didn't work? Yeah. And what was the reason why heater didn't work? Because the battery died. For one day the battery died because I think it was too cold in the garage. So because the battery was too cold, it stopped okay. working. The garage? And the heater just didn't have any power to run. Yeah. So that's it. So one thing made the other thing didn't, didn't work. So everything in a change. Like you can <laughs> feel change. like when, because we have like a little curtain just like to keep the garage, like because we didn't want doors there just to be easy to go through stuff. So we have like a curtain like that keeps the, the warm inside and the garage like insulated like from us. And when you open the curtain, when it's super cold, you can feel the garage like almost like even worse than the freezer. So the thing is, it was so cold in here, the electronics, I think it's not good, like extreme weather, even if it's cold or warm, it's bad for the batteries. So the battery just like to protect itself, just like turn off because it was super cold. So without any internet, because in Andorra we don't have Wi-Fi or anything. And just like thinking like quickly because what can you do and I say okay I'm going to put like a warm bottle of water just close to all the electronics and like in 10 minutes everything was working again so we we discovered in that time like okay this place is not I like insulated hmm. the way it should be so it's something we are going to fix it and the guy who helped us like build everything he's going to do it again we're going to help him and right now we are a little bit more experienced on the problems. So we are not like so outside like of the box with the situation. So I think we have a little bit more control. And instead of like going home like as quick as possible, we are using this experience like to see where are the spots that, that is weak so we can fix it like in one go. All right, so let's check the inside of the van. Um, but first, these are our doggies, Sia and Aqua. They are, are the owners yeah. of this van <laughs> because we are like, we love to travel. And every time we travel, we have like really huge problems like to go with them because hotels don't, don't allow them. And it's super expensive. You have to pay extra for having dogs. So they were like the cows to have mm -hmm. this because it's just easier like to go with them with our house like on wheels so yeah this is the consequence of having dogs <laughs> you have <laughs> a van as well so first thing that you see when you gonna enter the the van is uh, a small storage for dog things it was shoes, for shoes everything but, yeah that you want to have very easy access um in here we have our fridge over here we have a couple of uh, plates it's so we can put our table outside. over here outside and have a nice lunch outside. Yeah. So in the table you can put it outside. Yeah, 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 the same table we can just like put here so you still have like plenty of space there if you want to, to take it out and it's outside. Yeah. How big is the fridge? The 90 liters. Our fridge is 90 liters. One of the reasons which is facing this way is because um, the Mercedes Sprinter is quite it's skinny, narrow. it's narrow. very narrow. So if we were to face it inward uh, to the inside, um, it would be like taking so much space inside. And with, as well, it would yeah. be like really 
like a struggle like to open the door yeah so the guy so with who, this like, layout we found like the perfect solution was to face it that way which where when you are outside it's super handy to have it like this yeah. sometimes when you are inside inside with the door it's, closed it's could be easier option, like to open like this yeah. but it is what it is yeah. and it still like works when you enter the van you have the first control panel with usb chargers um the light switches and everything and this which opens the gray water tank which yeah. is super handy we have a electric valve for the it is down so there so, gray water. so this is the inside of our mercedes printer it's just like this wild and it's pretty much amazing for us because we're not so super tall no it is almost 190 i think it's yeah it's 190. exactly 190 so we are 170, 170 and 160 something yeah. so it's pretty good because i still can jump and it's, it's great for us i know yeah. like people like roman he's still like he's still good <laughs> i know other people who just get a little I still can stand yeah <laughs> <laughs> but this was something like for us really important because even being like inside a vehicle we want to be like cozy and for us like even being short we wanted to have like this like movement and like free like to move around a little bit so yeah. this part is made by us <laughs> at the beginning for us we said oh there are plenty of space like to put everything around so i say we don't need that if we need it we're going to do later so for this big trip we said let's try it out because with the snow clothes this is all packed like f with our gear so we said yeah let's do it and it's amazing uh, for sure this is the prototype it's going to be better and next time it's going to be flat straight. Yeah. <laughs> straight, and yeah. probably we will put like something to close up because sometimes when we're driving as we don't have the little anything here it to just it, yeah. fall down it's like on the dogs but soft so it doesn't matter and this is our window covers like they go the everywhere even the this door here for the winter to keep like the warm inside a little bit better yeah. and this is our living room this is where we eat where we work we have both chairs that we can swivel. turn yeah. swivel. and that chair they can two people can travel there they have all the seat belts and everything but this is something is going to actually change because yeah, because uh, when we made the van we weren't sure if we were gonna have kids if we were gonna travel with someone else and we decided to put this so we could have two more passengers but with time we realized that we is usually just two of us traveling so and even even if in the future we decide like to change anything because right now kids is out of the picture mom but if we anything like we decide to change anything we can put like another seat here or change the van and move to something bigger so right now it's better like to live for the moment and for what like we are we have now and this is the fan, fan ventilator yeah. no it's yeah. pretty Contain nice air in or air out wherever you want storage closets storage right now we have like skincare makeup and here is the we still don't have like anything like to to hold so we hold <laughs> and electronics because we work as a filmmakers as well so here we have like loads of cables the ipad the little speaker and more stuff just like still have like loads of space there but we don't need to fill it up everything underneath the seat we have a safe which holds all the important and expensive stuff so our cameras and laptops if we have to leave the van and we're gonna go away for quite some time we we put it there safe um the heater our diesel heater is over there as well so in yeah. case someone breaks in we Not hopefully <laughs> hopefully hopefully we um, we believe that they don't know how to open that safe <laughs> no it's it's hard even for us <laughs> the layout here is something we want to change because of this 
like when we decide to have like spare seats we are like thin people so we say yeah whatever i can pass through but it's a bother every time like you bump your yeah, stuff this, this is like less than half a meter this yeah. is like 30 centimeters 40, 40 centimeters. centimeters and like when someone is here nobody can pass and this is the the bump side of like having a, a normal like yeah. a sprinter so kitchen stuff we are this kind of people who trust glass is better than plastic and we still have like this ceramics and glass and steel nothing breaks so so far so good <laughs> our drawers and doors the system is to close it and hold is the same as the one in a house and they hold most of the time most of the time yeah like when you go off road <laughs> maybe some drawers start when to open but at the beginning so it was so only one stopper <laughs> and now it's two and maybe in some time we're going to put the third one and since we change like for two it's <laughs> it's keeping like closed this is the stove and normally this is the secret of van life as well to not like have noises we always put something here so doesn't go like that it's just annoying yeah. like when you're driving little bits and pieces it's just like but he has to burn stove and an oven that's a camping oven i believe if it's almost the the only one that you can register and have it legally in spain no in spain they have another ones this yeah. was just easier right now works but yeah. It's true because it's a camping when you like put the two burns and the and the oven all together, the fire doesn't go like as good as possible. It's not as hot as a as a normal oven or stove. It does the job. It does the yeah. We can cook. We are vegans and we cook like a lot of um, curries and lentils and everything. It works. Once this gets like bad or something, for sure is something we are keen like to change and swap. And the stove as well. We try normally when we have bread something just to use as a storage as well. So just keeps like hold. And huge drawer over there. The draw like the <laughs> mess draw of the kitchen, but we have everything here. And just like kitchen storage and as well more pantry. For the countertop, um, well, as well as the table in the living room, we have bamboo, which is super nice. Uh, you need to be careful with it and dry it all the time that gets wet. It is resistant, but it can get like stains. It doesn't, it's not going to break because the bamboo is really nice because it's super flexible and yeah. it's not super heavy. So it's nice to have it and has that as well like a kind of different look. Everything is crafted, like everything is unique in this van. Um, like for example, the handles for the drawers, they're handmade, like everything, everyone. One by one. Each of them is different. Like you can see all the imperfections, which are super cool. And even the decorations on the, on the yeah, countertop and everything. It has like this kind of look of the skateboarding because Pablo, use and still do like skate so it's nice to have something like back and yeah. all the per the the details on it it has like something that like reminds us of yeah. something and you yeah. designed this van yeah we so you bought the van empty cargo van yeah. we bought the van empty we we didn't build it ourselves because um, we, we just don't know how to do it and we didn't have time to, to learn because of our jobs. So we called a friend of us who built it for us, but for the design, we were there in all the important decisions. Yeah. Like we decided all the colors or the layout. Okay. Underneath we have a lot of storage as well. Yeah. A drawer with our cutlery and everything. I think the kitchen in this van is huge. I mean, for us, it's perfect, the uh, kitchen. The gas. And the gas you're using we have uh, our... for? The gas, we use it for the, 
for the oven and the hot water for the um, stove and our hot water so here we have our panel where we can see how much battery we have left control for water the funny thing is this control panel because we have lithium battery and it doesn't communicate very doesn't well communicate with lithium. Ver so we use more the smartphone app yeah. and this is going to be changed because we know there is another panel works much better yeah. and it's a little storage for clothes here and there as well yeah. to be wet robes. so right now we try to be organized but for example these pajamas and mm -hmm. the towels is always like normally mixed so but it's still good and because that step is very handy to go up in the bed the bed is really high yeah and as being not too tall is it still we have like space there but being super high to go up is just difficult so this is something we ask like to have something handy to but not on, on the way so it goes as a drawer and you can step on it's super nice and it still holds the stuff and Bathroom. more storage there as well for clothes and you can see it's empty to be fair it still can hold a lot so it's nice to have the one thing we still don't know if it's going to stay or not, we are still thinking about it. We love to have a bathroom, a full bathroom, but we would love to have like the open space as well. You cannot have everything, so you have to think about it because it's one decision. And this is the bathroom. We have a fixed toilet. It's a fixed toilet chemical that we don't like it. <laughs> and yes, right now we put this so we can dry our towels and some wet stuff. We don't have a fan on top of the bathroom because we wanted to have the ceiling with a space so we can put the roof deck in the future. Yeah. So we have a window when we take a shower, we open the window. And it's amazing and because it you take a shower, you open the windows and you close the door. Normally I use this stuff to just take all the, the water so it's just easier to, to get like dry. You can dry it yourself as well. We put the shelf here as well just to hold it and be easier. And the head shower. is with like the turning on system normally because I don't like the ones you have to press it. I know it saves water, but mm, just doesn't work for me. Just gets like too annoying for me. So I'm a bit like And we girly. found it's a little bit <laughs> and it's a little bit too big for us. Like we feel like we yep. don't need that much space to, to, to take a fair. shower. <laughs> if if we decide to stay with the shower we still will change a little, we're going to be a little narrower on the shower to have a little more space here. Because being small is, is what like gets in the way because you can have like small spaces for everything. All right, thanks for watching. In the second video, which you will find right here, you can watch how they sustain this lifestyle and what they will change in their interior build. And they are G-Handle, I will leave in the description below and see you in the next one. Cheers!